Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. If you see me for the first time then hi my name is Divya. I am a first year MDA student pursuing my career in pediatric dentistry and if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet then please do consider subscribing because I post a lot of fun content related to dentistry. So today's video is about NEET MDS preparation, one of the most requested videos on this channel. So without any further ado, let's get into today's video. So let's start off with the basics. As we know, NEET MBS is the only competitive exam uh, that gives admission into PG courses. And this is going to be an offline uh, based test. It's going to be a computer based exam and it will be conducted from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. The total marks will be uh, 960 and it will comprise of 240 questions and it will be divided into part A and part B. Part A will comprise of 100 questions in, uh, involving all your medical subjects and one uh, part B will be 140 questions which will involve all the dental subjects. Syllabus will be all uh, your 17 BDS subjects that is from first year to final year and uh, this will include your clinical, practical and paraclinical topics. Each correct answer you will be given plus 4 marks and for each incorrect answer there will be minus 1 mark that will be detected so please be careful. Talk about important subjects and marks distribution. So as I mentioned, part A will be 100 questions which will comprise of all your medical subjects. General surgery and general medicine will carry more weightage. And talking about part B which is 140 questions, it will be all your dental subjects and all the marks will be equally distributed. Now let's talk about cutoff and percentile. So every year the cutoff and percentile differs. But uh, this year uh, it's as follows. For general category, the cutoff is at 50th percentile. For SCST OBC, it is 40th percentile. For general PWD, it will be 45th percentile. And for SCST and OBC, PWD, it will be 45th percentile. So now let's talk about how to study for NEET MDS or how to prepare for NEET MDS. So there are two approaches to this. First is when you're starting super early and second is you're starting a late preparation. So now let's talk about early preparation. So say that you're starting your preparation from first year itself. So the best way to approach your exams is by focusing on your core subjects first. By this I mean that weekday focus on your theory subjects whatever is being taught in the college come back study those subjects and be thorough with the theory aspect of that topic and in the weekends spend ample amount of time just solving mcqs based on that i will be uh, telling you the uh, textbooks and mcq books to buy a little later but now uh, this is what you have to do so now you are uh, familiar with the course that is weekdays your theory subjects weekends mcqs now you have to focus on high yielding topics first and how do you find high yielding topics that is through your previous year question papers i have an entire video on how to top bds in which i have explained this method in depth so i would highly recommend you all to check that video out i'll leave the link in the description box below and here please please do check that out if you want to score superb marks in your bds now after you're done uh, focusing on your high yielding topics make notes I am emphasizing on this talk point right now that this is your golden time to make notes and by making notes you are not only going to master your theory knowledge but also whatever MCQs that you are solving in the weekends just keep writing those MCQ points or just those important pointers at the end of those notes so that when you are revising you have to just revise one single topic and you have like your theory aspect also covered and your neat MDS aspect also covered. This is the best approach for cracking neat MDS. Now let's talk about late preparation. So say that you have only a year or six to eight months left for the exam. I would still highly recommend that focus on your core subjects for the first two to three months. Focus on your uh, theory aspect, read all the topics again and again. By this time, obviously you would know because after covering four years of your videos, you will have some idea of what are the important topics and which are not. So focus on all those important topics, read all those theory aspects from your textbooks and then spend the last few months only solving question papers. This itself will put you in the habit of, you know, time management. Now, what are the best textbooks and uh, books to refer for? So standard textbooks, again, I have a whole video on that. I will leave the link in the description box below and here do check that video out. I've mentioned about my cult favorite and the golden standard textbooks. So after textbooks are your MCQ books. So if you are doing an early preparation, I would highly recommend you all to go for individual MCQ textbooks. That is MCQ textbooks uh, made particularly for each subject. 
invest in those i'm sure you won't be disappointed talking about uh, your late preparation people you can blindly go for dental pulse because that is one of the golden textbooks when it comes to uh, neat nbs uh, question papers it has covered almost all sorts of questions and they have very good explanation for each question so you can just blindly invest in dental pulse other than that other good books are your dental bites and dental explorer Now let's talk about some quick tips to help you crack neat NBS. Starting off with the first tip, I would say that don't stop studying. Keep updating yourself on the newer technologies being used, the newer advancements, any groundbreaking research that has happened and keep yourself updated because no matter how much you prepare, 10 to 20% of your neat NBS paper is always going to be a bouncer and it will be based off, you know, newer researches, newer topics, advancements. So if you keep updating your knowledge on it, there is high chances that you will be able to answer that 10 to 20% of bouncers as well. The second tip is don't do any guesswork. I know I've also been there and I know how tempting it can be to you know just guess that answer with the half knowledge you have but believe me when I say that half knowledge is way more dangerous than full I mean no knowledge at all so please don't do that mistake because there is negative marking present and it can prove to be very disastrous if you do guesswork. The third tip I have for you guys is where to download your books and certain MCQ uh, books as well. So head over to my Instagram, I would have made a reel, uh, hopefully the reel should be up by the time this video comes up, if not, don't worry, I'll be posting it very soon, wherein I'll be mentioning top 5 amazing telegram channels that uh, allows you to download all textbooks, so make sure that you follow me on Instagram, I'll leave my ID here. So that's all I have for today's video. I really, really hope that you guys liked it. If you did, then please give this video a huge thumbs up and please comment down below any of your queries. I would love to answer them. Please do support me by supporting this channel and by engaging with all the videos that I post so that I know that you are liking my work and it can motivate me to do it well as well. Until next time, this is Divya signing off. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.